Nope. All right, y'all, what's going on? Sneak order J. Appreciate everybody that's been showing love on the page, all that good stuff. Haven't been doing any, I haven't done one of these in a long time. So decided to just jump back in and try to start doing these again because I actually enjoy doing these. So appreciate everybody that voted. Clearly, it was actually close. These, uh, these won by maybe two votes. So today's shoe story will be on Jordan 1 Travis Scott's. get into that really quick shout out to mascots the team for the mug definitely love this mug right here <laughs> this one doesn't leave a house so y'all want to get one of these hit up mascot now for the shoe now this pickup wasn't too exciting so the story on the pickup is, is not going to be the exciting part here regular day at work no you know bad service chilling bored <laughs> wasn't even sure when these were dropping no one was this was back when you know rumors still rumors about releasing on you know at the show and one of his you know while he's performing blah 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 so it was, a, it was a friday i think it was it had to be a friday so it was a friday chilling boom popped up i was already on my phone so i saw a notification quick from nike a lot of times they don't even send out notifications i got a most of my sneakers pass notifications come from like somebody i'm following on twitter or if i see a pop-up from someone on instagram so nike they gotta work on that but popped up opened it up you know in my head this is one of those drops i'm like i ain't gonna get it i did it just to do it and then reserve popped up was like at first you know moment of shock i'm not gonna say i was excited at first i was more like you know is this real am i gonna get an error in a second but nah popped up I was able to reserve them, ran outside, I ain't run. I walked fast. I walked fast outside. I was like, yo. I didn't, honestly, at that time, I didn't even have anybody to tell because, you know, nobody at my job is really into the sneaker thing. So they probably, they kind of just looked at me like, oh, cool. I had to break it down to them about the shoe and why I was so excited. And they were like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, no real excitement there, but I was excited. So. <laughs> That's basically how I got them. Sneakers Pass, Nike NYC. And that's how I got the shoe. Now the story afterwards is my experience picking this shoe up. That's where the story comes in. It wasn't Nike, was it? Yeah, it was Nike NYC, the new one, 34th Street, whatever. So, it had to be to work. This was a Saturday morning. I work Saturdays. I had to be to work. What, I started at 6. I was supposed to be there. 10 o'clock is probably the latest I could pull off. You know, showing up. Actually showing up. You know, my job is laid back. My supervisors are cool. I told them, you know, hey, can I go do this real quick? Blah, blah, blah. I should be there by 10. I go there early as hell. Like every other sneakers pass. I'm thinking, you know, it's not. It's sneakers pass. Whenever I win these, it's normally a fast, you know, pretty fast thing. No. I pulled up. I saw like 30 people outside on a line. I was like, yo, wasn't expecting that. Had to go actually find parking because I knew it was I, clearly I was going to be there for a little while. So I went, parked by a hydrant. <laughs> it, it was just a few things happened that day. So I go around the corner, get online. I'm online with, I don't know, this some older Spanish guy, hardly speak English. And this other cat, you know, I could tell he was in his shoes. So you know i'm kind of quiet i don't just start talking to random people but he just came out of nowhere started talking about something else and so it was a nice little chat we basically started chatting that's the main thing i like about going to pick up shoes sometimes when you actually get online with other sneaker you know other people that fill shoes and not somebody that's just trying to sell it so we started talking and talking and we, you know we ended up talking until we got inside so he was chatting it up the old spanish dude not even spanish i think he was he was from greece or something but he just kept asking questions about the shoe and how much I think he could get for it and blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at the other dude and we just like, you know, you know, I don't know. You know, at that point, I'm trying, I'm zoning them out at this point because I'm like, I know I'm, I'm planning on keeping them. I'm not trying to buy them to sell them. So I'm just kind of zoning out, not really listening to him. <laughs> we get close to the door and 
this other kid, I guess two spots up in line, he had his laptop out. He was on some bot. This is probably the first time I've, I've ever like seen it in person. He had one of those, you know, the bots and he was on his computer like, yo, yeah, this, that, cart this. It's like, yo, 10 of these and I'm just, and, you know, I'm just sitting there. So that sparked another conversation. So besides all of that, <laughs> I get inside the store. One dude, I guess he had, I don't know what the case was. He had the sneakers pass reserved on his phone, but he didn't have ID. So I don't know if maybe he was trying to pick up somebody else or whatever the case was, but they wasn't trying to let him get the shoe. But I was online for, I had, yo, I was online for like an hour. I was standing there for like an hour. I got in the store probably like 9, 15, got there like eight. So at this point I'm, you know, I'm like, yo, can we, can you, I started coming out the mouth a little, like, yo, you ain't, can you just like move to the side, let the rest of us, blah, blah, blah. Security had to come, they, <laughs> This little tiny girl, I'll never forget this little tiny girl. She came over there. She was like, yo, yo, you gotta go. And he just turned around. And <laughs> he turned, he tall. So he turned around and he, just, and he did one of these. <laughs> and we just started laughing. And she was just looking at, she was dead serious too. She, she had no smiles, no sign of, she was serious. You shall not pass. So he looked at her. Then somebody else came over and he was like, I ain't bet. So he left. I was able to go up, got the shoe. They were selling the pants and the tracks, the track top for it too. So they was trying to get me to buy that. I was just like, whatever. I got the shoe. Got outside, boom, got to the car. Had a ticket, boom, of course, expected. Whatever, I had 30 minutes to get to work. Zoom to work, made it, got to work, realized I don't have my credit card with me. Don't have my card. I'm looking all over, looking all over. Boom, realize, all right, I don't have it. I go in, I call, I cancel the card out because I'm like, all right, somebody must have picked it up. It had to have been over there. Cancel the card out. Everything's cool. I'm going throughout my day. Two hours later, I get a call from my, who was it? I think it was my cousin, my mom, one of them. And she was like, yo, did you go, you went shopping like crazy, right? You went, what you doing at Dwayne Reed in the city? I'm like, what? I was like, I lost my card, but I canceled it. Come to find out, I canceled the wrong card. The one I dropped, somebody went on a motherfucking shopping spree. I don't know who it was. If you're watching this video, kudos to you for being a, can't say that on air, but shout out to you for that. So I had to fight those charges, but I, I went through hell for this sneaker. I lost a good amount of money that day just because of this luckily they did give me that money back it took like two weeks though that i think they went to what the hell did you buy Dwayne reed for 800 dollars? that's that was bugging me all day what could what could you have bought in Dwayne reed for 800 dollars? I, I don't know if you got an idea let me know hit me up and let me know what you could buy in Dwayne reed for 800 dollars. but that's how i got the shoe that's the shit i went through to get this shoe and now I have the shoe. So, Travis Scott's Jordan 1. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, is it still recording? What's good? Oh, huh, you did it on, on. And for those that watched that, that lace up video that I had did, I got a lot of comments about people saying make, how I could have did it better as far as so this won't be showing like that. So I went back and you know, I took the advice. I do realize it does look better when you, instead of having to show on the outside, you kind of just throw it right in there, straight from the lace up. On like right out the first hole, you just throw it right in there, instead of going through and then going around and tucking it in. So it looks cleaner actually, you know. So yeah, shout out to those people that commented that. Shout out to those that commented the negative DS. Appreciate all of y'all. Thank you. Nothing on that beat. Nope.